good morning friends since there was great demand for a nifty view in english as well so this is just a snapshot of my view as we speak scx is trading negative 4 points i mean how amazing is that asia is flat to red so you know if this is the sort of follow through we are getting you know i was hoping for a 50 point gap up but apparently even that is not likely so uh, we have our camarilla levels ready basically the camarilla levels are about 11 330 to about uh, 355 on the downside and 11 387 to about 11 402 on the upside now since we are opening above you know right in between in between these levels i would think a rally into the upside levels should invite selling and a decline into the downside levels will include buying but overall don't think you can expect very large moves today and uh, on the uh, bank nifty again uh, you have camarilla levels which are Uh, around uh, 22 uh, 350 to about uh, uh, 420 on the uh, upside and uh, similarly you have a lower levels around uh, 22000 to about 22 200 this is my guesstimate you have to Uh, check the exact levels but even on the bank nifty it's likely that we open between the camarilla levels and uh, again you can buy into the lower levels and sell into the higher levels so expecting today to be fairly range bound and uh, in terms of individual stocks i have a couple hdfc bank looks like it's completing some sort of downside and uh, now should go towards uh, 1160 thereabouts that's a buy with a stop of 1040 and uh, power grid i think uh, you know psu power stocks are doing very well so uh, if you get it around uh, uh, say 180 183 uh, you can buy with a 174 type of stop and look for levels of 210 to about 215 so given the sgx open and you know the actual open could be different uh, so far i think it seems like a ranging day ahead and uh, that is how you need to play it ranging days your expectations are modest you have to have pin point entries keep smaller stops and you not know, keep taking smaller profits so that should be it for the day take care trade well please consult your financial advisor